What's up, folks? Thanks for joining us for another episode of QNAP Live. This is Hernan. And I'm Eric. And uh, today we'll be talking about uh, the differences between QSync and backup. This is a topic that pops up on our forums, on social media, uh, anytime we're at trade shows or out and about talking to customers. Um, people always ask the difference. Can you, you know, tell us the difference between QSync and backup? Today we're going to tell it's a two-parter. Actually, this is part one of a two-part episode. Next week we're going to talk about the benefits of backup. Today we're going to talk the benefits of QSync, um, how it applies to you, um, how are you able to use it. We'll talk about some user cases for home use and for for business as well. And just to give you a brief, uh, just a brief summary, um, just the difference between backup and QSync. QSync is more of a quick uh, synchronization. It's 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 a it's a backup for specific folders. It's a quick a quick backup for specific folders for on your devices, on your machines. Um, it's good for collaboration. You just uh, it's a quick way to just put stuff in on your NAS, and multiple people who have access to the QSync folder can can access it. And you can uh, you can work on on something you know up to with all your files, your music, your videos, pretty much any type of file out there that you have. It's like your own private Dropbox, your own shared folder uh, on on your QNAP for multiple devices. Backup is more of a complete, I mean, it's backup. <laughs> you're backing up your machine, you're backing up your devices. I mean, it's something that takes a little more time. And once you are you have it backed up, it's not really um, usable. Um, you know, it's just it's just a backup of your, of your files, a complete backup. So today we're gonna talk about some user cases, um, uh, different, uh, different ways you can, that, that QSync benefits you. Um, Hernan, now can you tell us a little bit like for home users, how, how QSync benefits a, a home user? Sure, Eric, let me tell you um, my case, for example. Mm -hmm. I, I obviously travel a lot and be with customers, so I have a lot of data and information on right. my laptop, right? Mm -hmm. And I have, my, I have my NAS at home and it's wireless, it's connected to a wi my wireless router. Mm -hmm. And so the second I come in, I open up my laptop, it starts auto-synchronizing, right. okay? I'm a synchronizing folder. So I know that everything that's inside that folder, everything that I've gathered that's important to me, that's pertinent, is gonna be synchronized onto my QNAP folder, right. okay? And that's really important for me, right? And that I know that, okay, th this is what I worked on today, I'm gonna be synchronizing this, I'm moving this over here, um, where, for example, though I do my backups, mm -hmm. my backups are done uh, at midnight, mm -hmm. it's different because my backups, I'm not gonna be utilizing them. Those are actually, they're just, uh, you know, they're- Your insurance, basically. Right, they're right. volume-based backups and those get stored away and mm -hmm. I don't touch those. That's in case I never ha ever have to come back and access that whole volume, I can rebuild rebuild my system. Right. QSync is different because those are actually be workable files. Mm -hmm. and, workable information that I need that I can come back and, and, and utilize. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's that's really great. And also, um, it's great in the office, right? Mm -hmm. Because when I show up, I can I can synchronize the work that I've been doing on the road, mm -hmm. and I can synchronize it over to the market department, whether it's, you know, their contact databases, right. or whether, you know, it can be, um, you know, sales presentations for marketing department, for the sales department, and a price list, right. that gets synchronized as well. So when it comes to, you know, um, certain aspects, it's really, really helpful. Yeah. Cool deal. So for like customers and business world, for mm -hmm. collaboration, like tell us how it would benefit a business. Eric, it's the same the same type of principle, the same idea. Okay. okay. So that um, for example, I have a customer I have a customer in, in Hollywood who does audio. He does audio mm -hmm. production for mm -hmm. animation. And he has a lot of people um, on the road as well. Okay? okay, they're constantly traveling and they're doing audio and and, it, and I mean, we're talking about, you know, from going from, you know, from Hollywood to New York, um, you know, to Atlanta. So what he does is it's the same thing. He's synchronizing over to them. So he has the actual raw files, the raw audio files. And he says, like, I need you. I'm going to lay over. Um, here's the animation. Okay. So the guy in New York is going to add the voice. Right. right. And the girl in Atlanta, she's going to add the special effects, the sound effects. Gotcha. And so they're constantly synchronizing this data and this information. Mm -hmm. And it's one less thing that someone has to do in a work environment, in a workflow. Right. It's, it's being done automatically. You don't have to drag and drop things. Now, there's other things in the folders. Mm -hmm. And these are permission, obviously by permission. Right. So one person might be able to see something that another person does not see. Right. So there's different levels of permission as well. So that it's and it's encrypted and it's safe, so no one can actually intercept it or anything like that. It's actually very safe, you know, for someone to you know to to you know to conduct their business way. 
And you mentioned multiple users can collaborate, so that means mm -hmm. you could you could make subfolders as well. Correct. Um, okay. Yep. Correct. So this folder again, where perhaps someone might have access to it, another person might. You can create a user groups as well. Got it. So this group of people or individuals can see this information, where you know maybe it's 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 one person that cannot because he's working on something else, right? Or it's not pertinent to him. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you can you can assign different people to different folders. Got it. And besides mm -hmm. your work group, you have you know multiple users multiple users on QSync. You can also share files. Correct. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And again, that's that's important part as well. Be middle. Anything you, that you share and designate into your, your synchronization folder will get synchronized, and you tell it where to synchronize to. And that's a great thing. You can get over, you know, get over to your, you know, to your to your um, collaborators and the people you're working with. Yeah. That's a great cool cool deal. QSync also, as you know, Hernan mentioned, all Hernan mentioned, all you have multiple users, multiple devices, Q, uh, syncing to to your QSync. You can also synchronize you know, your mobile devices. Uh, I mean, it's not just limited to, to, to your work group. I mean, you can have whatever devices you want, pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. So QSync compared to backup. I mean, mm -hmm. what, what, what's the strong points of backup, like, briefly? Yeah. And backup's really important. Mm -hmm. Backup is really important, but it's, it's, it's a whole volume. It's your whole disk drive, right, that's getting backed up. Right. And everything, in, 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 for example, we're talking about every every little vital information that's on your computer, and that right. can be any any type of of, of granular data, right? right? That you need to move, um, you know, to have it and and access it somewhere else. It's got to be off site, off premise somewhere, right. and that's a protection. That's what protects you, right? It's like having a, a spare tire, right? Where synchronization, you're just sharing your files and mm -hmm. information. Um, whether again to 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 you know to your NAS in, in, a, in a local environment or maybe somewhere outside where you're mm -hmm. synchronizing to them as well. So right. there is, I mean, it sounds kind of the same, but it's actually really different. Right, right, right. And well, backup too. You're not going to have workable files too. I no. mean, you, you mm -hmm. can't collaborate with your backup. Backups is just basically your insurance mm -hmm. policy if your stuff correct. crashes. Right. Yep, that is correct. Cool deal. Mm -hmm. So here we have a little video for you just to quickly give you the whole concept of how QSync works. And uh, let's, let's see that video. You have lots of devices in your life for business and pleasure. Desktops, tablets, laptops, smartphones. And you want to use and share files and documents from major work projects to family photos on all of them without tedious manually copying, fiddling with easy to lose thumb drives, or limited Dropbox storage. With QNAP's QSync, synchronizing your files across devices, groups, and communities is a snap. QSync gives you huge, secure, cutting edge Turbo NAS capability, true private cloud storage to handle all your synchronization needs. Your data never goes in someone else's box. Link your devices, and whenever you change a file or folder, QSync applies the change everywhere. Or change only a subfolder. It's your choice. Remove files from one device to free up space, and they're still there on your other devices. Use it as a file exchange to share with different groups. Even create download links to share with colleagues or friends who don't have an account. With QSync, you'll share, sync, and control work far more productively and have a lot more fun with your friends too. All these amazing features are available only in the QNAP App Center. QNAP, your one and only choice for data storage. So there you have it folks, that's a quick explanation about QSync. Um, again, it's two different things, QSync and backup. Your backup is um, your backup of all your files on your, on your different devices. QSync, you can manage specific folders uh, to, to back up to your QSync folders, and you can also have multiple users collaborating on those files as well. So that is our episode for today. Next week, we're gonna get onto part two, the benefits of backup versus QSync and get more in depth on backup uh, as a whole. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, Hernan, for joining us. And we'll catch you next week on the next episode of QNAP Live. Take care.